Snowbar Ruin, Bruce, Wisconsin, Forest Roads, Forest Trails, in a 2015 Subaru Outback Premium 2.5 non-turbo street tires, no lift, 30,000 miles, maybe 20,000 miles, somewhere in there on both tires, 50,000 miles on the car, no problems to this point. I had been off-road in northeast Wisconsin the day before, came home excited. Wife was happy for me, so she said, hey, green light on the Hero GoPro 5 Black that I've been uh, wanting, and uh, went to Best Buy, picked up a little GoPro, and this is the first video footage from that. And on this trail. A little nervous about uh, coming out here because I've never been in this trail and there's water and uh, I don't have recovery equipment so I don't want to get stuck out. So I'm pretty foolish I guess overall for doing this so do as I say not as I do and trust me when I say you can get stuck out here. So, there is no cell phone signal, and there are no people for probably at least 10 miles, so it'll be quite the hike out of here in the winter. And, uh, so anyway, that being said, my fun from yesterday and my excitement from having the hero, here I am, being the hero, plunging on through this ice, and what I'm doing is feeling the mud and rocks under the tires. Trying to make sure that it's not getting deeper. And I'm just thinking, you know, it might be thin, or mostly thin, where I could just like maybe cut through this and then get to the other side where the trail is. And that's why I'm doing stop and go and stop and go. But then at some point here I gain a little confidence. You see I'm no longer stuck. I'm up to three miles an hour. Three. Basically, I'm just like breaking through the ice. Get up here, boom, hit the trail. Okay. I mean, northern Wisconsin in the winter, you know, with fresh snow on the ground. I mean, it's just beautiful up here. I really enjoy being in the woods alone, away from people. It's very relaxing, and I just love this car. Well, here I am taking it through a puddle. Love it, love it. And if you want a Subaru just like this, you could call Kasurik in Wausau, Wisconsin. Talk to Adam Krieger. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to hook you up with a new Subaru. They got all the models there. Then a uh, shout out to Jordan and Cable who keep this fine beast running and have fixed it from my exploits from later in the day, which I turned this Subaru into a canoe baru. Isn't that exciting? So here I am going down the trail and I'm just checking out, looking for wildlife and watching the trail and enjoying the scenery and up in the back corner there it looks like I see Sasquatch checking me out that's pretty cool I always like seeing Sasquatches and, uh, you might not be able to get a good view of him because you know of course uh, video footage of Sasquatch was a little blurry but uh, Sassy's a little shy, so I think he's checking out my Subaru. He might be thinking about calling at him, too, sometime soon. And let's see. Might have to talk to Jordan and Cable, see about getting the seat moved back so he could fit. Now you can tell this trail here is significantly narrower because the trees have not been 
all the branches have overgrown. So this is like an old forest road that isn't used by forest trucks anymore, but probably primarily by ATVs or something, but I am plunging forward. Looks like a tree had fallen down at some point. And an ATV guy or the forest crew came through and nipped that, so I didn't have to try to pull that out of the way or drive over it or turn around. Whack, got hit in the face. Really got to stop riding with my, my head out the window like my dog used to. But I enjoy it. Wind in the face, you know, cold breeze, snow, tongue out. I mean, what's better than that? Nothing. I mean, good enough for my dog, it's good enough for me. And here you can see we're starting to get a little, little bit of a hill. It's not too hilly right here. But I am a little nervous looking forward because it's just like, you know, with a hill covered in snow, you don't really want to get stuck out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, a puddle here for me. Notice I'm not as pretty deep actually. It's probably about as deep as a Subaru like this should probably safely go. see the hill starting to go up so when I see the hill going up I'm nervous and I don't want to get stuck so I'm going to start picking up some speed so I can get up that hill and make sure I have no issues and oh, man, that wasn't the hill the hill's around the corner what the hell do I know I only drove this thing video a dozen times but all right so here's the hill I am nervous you can see we're at 45 feet elevation gain so far it starts going up it's steeper here and I just want to keep the speed and momentum going so that I can make sure I get up this hill and a little puddle try to sidestep it never know what's in there. There might be a rock or something. I want to pop this thing out of alignment. Here we go. Look at that. See? Gained like 50 feet or so. 55. Alright. So, I mean, just look how beautiful that is. All that fresh snow everywhere. I mean, does it get any better getting out there? I mean, it really, it's just so awesome. Just love it. I really do. This is such a fun car. And here I am, coming to the end of the trail, coming out to the road. And for the record, I'm pretty sure that not even pretty sure. My wife had been with me. There's just no way an ally had done all that. She is uh, my safety conscience <laughs> and says, hey, 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 no. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay. <laughs> You're right. I probably shouldn't have done that. But since she's not here, before I leave <laughs> and have to go back and meet her in town like two and a half hours away, we're going to have dinner with a friend. When I get the car splashy wet, you know, big, in that big puddle at the back, and then on the way out. And uh, there is still one more area I want to explore. So, I can't waste too much time just keep going back through this, but uh, I'll just go get the car wet and then throw up some water splashes because, you know, who doesn't love to splash water? to the big one. Let's see if the 
There's a big hunk of ice in the middle. That's all where the tire tracks are. So I'm going to kind of like drive over on it and kind of break that up. So that when I come back through, you see I'm, I'm going pretty good clip, six, seven miles an hour. But when I go back through, I want to make sure that's broken up so that I can go a little faster without just smoking into ice. Drive up to the dead end here, turn around. driving through a pump. <laughs> I was really throwing up the water. GoPro didn't really catch it on but it doesn't matter. You can kind of see the splashes from the sides. I went through there at 12 miles an hour. I was, I was pretty quick for that part. So before I go at the end here, I'm going to take a right and just jot down this one little spot quick just to just take a quick peek at that too. Looks like that also could be a good trail area. I don't know why I just didn't think, hey, let's just stay over here. I would have stayed out of trouble if I didn't do that. But, uh, I didn't do that because I did have that other area I was determined to explore. So I wanted to just rush through this here. Let's get in here. This is actually pretty good. Cool. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go around the corner a little bit, see if there's a place I can turn around, see if there's anything super interesting that I might want. But I'm just going to go a little bit. I really can't waste time. Feeling the pressure of my pumpkin time, which is really gonna help me make a really bad decision later. But uh, <laughs> here we go. Let's go make a splash in that big puddle. another video with me talking about me turning this into a canoe baroo so again look for that video too thanks for watching